All right, now, what's up, world? Now, I'm going to go to uh, Creflo Dollar, Understanding Progressive Revelation, Part 2, Wednesday Night Service. Now, you know, I'm not for this, really, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think Creflo Dollar really understand that Adam God. You know what I'm saying? I'm really tired of this Jesus stuff because Jesus wasn't even supposed to be sacrificed. And this message he's doing right here is so wrong. And then he talking about the Old Testament is incorrect. The Old Testament is not incorrect. And it was not, you do not understand nothing about the years that we didn't came through. Creflo Dollar. And this prayer you about to pray, I ain't listening. It's God. You don't show no grace and mercy or nothing like that. You ain't helped us out one bit. You was against us, sabotaging us and everything else. So what you praying for? You hell bound. Hell bound with that devil and you a false prophet. Talking about it pleased God to bruise Jesus and he strike you here. How am I incomplete? Father, we thank you for this another opportunity to minister to these, your precious sheep. Thank you, Lord, that revelation knowledge will flow freely, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. And Father, now, why you say it's going to be in, not interrupted, unhindered, and not interrupted by any demonic force? And you the demonic force, man. You the devil. You in hell right now. And you ain't said shit to God apology-wise. And you even taught a couple of weeks ago that we ain't supposed to apologize, that repent don't mean apologize. So what you praying for? This a God of mercy and grace and stuff like that to people who show mercy and grace like that and ask for forgiveness in repentance, saying I'm sorry to the people they harmed. Father, I pray that you will speak through my vocal cords and think through my mind. None of me and all of you. It's in. Now, see, that's where him and TJ get me wrong. You know, why are you asking me to be none of me and all of you? You know what I'm saying? And you know goddamn well I ain't saying nothing negative about the Old Testament. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said. See, that's, that's the thing right there. What Jesus say in John chapter 17, 11, y'all? Kids, tell me that all y'all little angel kids that's just born. Little bit upstairs. I mean, little bit with a mama. And little bit down there in East Texas. Y'all tell me, boy and a girl. Tell me. You know what I say. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I said. Amen. Well, welcome to Bible study tonight. And you may be seated, praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, go with me to the book of Romans, chapter 16, uh, verse uh, 24 and 25 in the King James. We began a series last week talking about progressive revelation and what is progressive revelation. Because as Christian people, we've got to understand that we cannot get stuck uh, in a contradiction, or should I say we should not be getting stuck in something that seems like a contradiction. So last... How is it not a contradiction that you say it pleased God to bruise Christ, you know what I'm saying, and a contradiction that each strike that y'all hit Christ with, you heal, you found a murderer, you know what I'm saying, what's the contradiction, you know what I'm saying, of the Old Testament and the New, I told you what I was going to do to you for murdering him. 
I told you what you was gonna do to him, how you was gonna treat him and everything. And that was me, Adam. And you still saying Jesus. And what did, I was gonna ask the little kids, the angel kids, baby girl and baby boy, what I say? John chapter 17, 11, Creflo Dollar. Say, keep them through your name, Holy Father, so they may be one as we are. Don't keep them in my name. I don't want to be Jesus. That's your name, Daddy. You, Jesus, 33 years. Then put their ass away for a thousand. Uh, we, we started on this and I didn't get finished but I want to review just a little bit some basic things and we'll continue on. Now even though the plan of God was ready from the beginning and God worked through the whole history to bring that pl plan to pass, his plan wasn't revealed all at one time. You're lying, Creflo Dollar. I started this in uh in uh, 96. I started this in 96. Coming down to, from 7 to 18. You know what I'm saying? I'm in reverse polarity, son. I ain't in your time zone. I'm not on your star. I'm not in Chicago or Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I'm not neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even where they say I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm a star. I'm the air you breathe. I go as the air. Go from here to there. And you know where, you don't know where it's going or coming from. His plan was revealed gradually. It wasn't uh, in the Old Testament where you see the full plan of God. In fact, the Old Testament. Well, how in the hell you going to see in the Old Testament the full plan of God then come knock it down and say it's incomplete? You a goddamn liar, Cruffalo Dollar. And you need to get off my goddamn platform. I said I was telling, I told that all the damn long time ago. Your shit ain't standing up, man. You don't need to be trying to make steal no more money. I told you, you were stealing. Will a man rob God? You know what I'm saying? You still robbing God. Came up here and lied and, and repented for stealing it. Then went back to stealing it. And still trying to make a dollar off this. And trying to hold people hostage to, to your teaching. Man, we don't want to hear this. Man, ain't nothing you say incorrect. Because God is not incorrect in no old testament. Where the plan of God is concerned is, is incomplete. You only see a... You a goddamn lie, how in the hell is incomplete? I told you what the hell I was gonna do to y'all for killing Jesus. I even told you what, what you was gonna do to kill him. I even told you how to act, told you how to get in God. I even told you all that. So what's your problem? What's the problem with the Old Testament and the New Testament? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Your problem, you don't wanna mind the Third Testament, the one I'm doing. You think the Test State is supposed to die. You ain't know the test day to come alive and stay alive forever, did you? That's that. Piece of it there. It was, it was progressively rolled out. It was progressive revelation. In the Old Testament, he rolled it out like shadows. You see shadows and pictures in the Old Testament. And how in the hell you see shadows and pictures in the Old Testament? Shadows and pictures? What the fuck is a shadow and a picture? You know what I'm saying? I in the four gospels, he rolled it out as parables. And then Nigga, you don't even understand the parables. You ain't you ain't read a parable since we've been arguing. You know what I'm saying? Since heaven and earth been battling. I mean heaven heaven and hell been battling. Your ass ain't been on our side not once. You know what I'm saying? So what the hell are you talking about? You ain't been reading no gospel. You know what I'm saying? We don't mess with no gospel. There ain't no gospel of killing Christ or murdering a man. That ain't no gospel. I told you don't eat blood. You take communion. You know what I'm saying? Talking about drink this, take this cup. You know what I'm saying? And I told you don't eat no blood. In the letters of the New Covenant, he explained clearly and straightforward what that plan was. 
So you have to be careful to understand that it, it was rolled out all at one time. So the things that God revealed to humanity were not all given at once. His revelation was given in stages. No, nah, it was given at once. I gave you this at once ever since 96. You ain't heard me stop talking. You ain't heard me stop talking. Ever since I came back to life as Uncle Peck and Adam, champ. You ain't heard me stop talking. Those dogs. I, my son can shame you. You know what I'm saying? Because your nakedness, man, I see through you. You the devil. You Satan. You a false prophet. You a thief. You a robber. You a ambusher. Talking about. I ain't heard nobody say give nobody no money. I ain't seen where no angel wrote give nobody no million dollars. This is known as progressive revelation. Revelation that's given in stages. Now the Apostle Paul wrote this. He said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, amen. And he said, now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. And he began to, to talk about um, what you got to do with that, Griflo. Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. So what secret did you tap into and what did Paul tell you that's a secret and a mystery? that you know about Adam and you know about Jesus so good to come and try to mess us up and hold us from doing the resurrection. You know what I'm saying? What authorized- uh, Let me read it to you in this, in this, ver this uh, verse, this version here. He says, now to the one who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed. So for all of those ages, even in the Old Testament. And he says, now disclosed. So you ain't got nothing to talk about, really. That was a stupid scripture to go to. You ain't on nothing, God. You ain't apologize. You ain't trying to apologize. Talk like I say a couple of weeks ago that uh, repent don't mean apologize. So, man, I'm really wasting my time here, but I just want to uncover your nakedness. I just want to see what the devil got to say and lying on God's Old Testament and New Testament. Talking about I ain't doing that one time. All of it wasn't revealed at, all at one time. You don't know that. You don't know what the fuck I was doing. And through the prophetic writings, the scripture says, is made known to all the Gentiles according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience to faith. So Paul made a distinction here between the revelation which God formerly gave and the revelation which was presently giving. Now, what I want to do... Ain't no difference, man. It's the same difference. Paul ain't making no difference in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Paul teaching you what God, he just said God. He didn't say no Jesus. He said God, and you ain't teaching Jesus. You ain't teaching God. You teaching Jesus, trying to hide in Jesus when you know you can't. You ain't, you wasn't with us for a thousand years. You was with a false prophet. Tonight is I wanna show you how, and some illustrations of how he rolled it out. You would make a big mistake if, if you go over and you read the Old Covenant and you think that the whole story is told in the Old Covenant. It wasn't. It's incomplete. It's rolled. Man, you a goddamn lie. I ain't incomplete nothing. I ain't never made nothing incomplete, nigga. I went from 930 to 33 years old, nigga. And then died after 930. Then became Jesus. Live 33 more years as Adam, in Adam's name. Holy Father, keep us through your name, not mine. Creflo Dollar and them gonna hate you because they hated me first. Now that's your thing right there. You don't know how to repent? 
If you don't know what it mean, it mean apologize. I just want a whole bunch of I'm sorry for whatever you lied on God about. What that Old Testament said, you lied on me about. And I don't say none of that shit in the New Testament that y'all be making up. Don't tell me nothing Paul said because you don't understand Paul. I was Paul. You don't understand me. Your, your thoughts not my thoughts. What you thinking, damn, so ain't mine. So you, you stealing now. You know what I'm saying? Stealing out now. piece by piece and stage by stage. And then you get the full revelation in the new covenant of grace. And that full revelation is Jesus Christ. Now, what I'm going to go over tonight is that. Man, how you gonna get me if you murdered me? Why would I come to you if I'm a sheep that you murdered and cut my head off and lied on me and all that damn backslide on me and all that ain't on my side? You know what I'm saying? Ain't got no words that can't say my name. How would I be a dumbass to come to you and listen to you? Why, oh why, do you spend your money on stuff that don't prosper? Like Creflo Dollar. Process so you can see it coming to pass. Now, let's start tonight in the, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7 through 11. Let's talk about the old system, how it faded away. Paul. The old Testament system ain't never faded away. How it faded away, and I got the battle of God and made God. We just went and fought the other day. And all that. And shit, like I said, I was 930. Creflo died as Adam, went to 0 to 33. God is Jesus. Then a thousand years I had you locked up as Satan. And the false prophet you are. In a thousand years I had all those that your ass faking like you are. And you ain't. You are anti-Christ. You are not a Christ. You are not got nothing to do with Jesus. I don't even spell Jesus like you do. And uh, I lived as Jesus, died as Jesus, thousand years in Christ. You know, having Christ hid in me, not, you know, me as Christ or need to be saying in the name of Jesus or something like that. No, I'm God. Jesus asked to be in me, Adam. And that's my name, Revelation 3.12. You know what I'm saying? You don't know that because you crept no dollar and you ain't nothing but a con artist and a devil that was locked up for a thousand years. Then you add that thousand years to that 963. And that's 1963. And I was born three years later for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to be whole. You know what I'm saying? A, a years, a thousand, trillion years. To God. I was born January 1st, 1966. You just that right age, 62. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have an anniversary. And then that's the 37th anniversary for Satan's release. That's a shame. Man, ain't nothing you say we need to be listening to. Listen to this, man. It ain't got nothing to do with it. I wrote about the old system fading away. It's kind of like working out. You don't start off with your heaviest away. weight, especially if you've never worked out before. You probably start off with body weight. And then you go. Man, where did you get, you know, Christ being smitten by God and every stripe you heal in? Lifting up Christ is not loving him and honoring him and being loyal to him. That's not lifting him up to y'all. Lifting him up to y'all was lifting him up on the cross, murdering him. That's what it was to you, Creflo Dollar. You and Bill Winston and T.D. Jakes, because Bill Winston told me, if you wanted to be like Jesus, you want to be Jesus, you're going to have to do what Jesus did, die for us. You know what I'm saying? Shit, all right, Bill Winston. You going to do that. I ain't. You got to be born again. I don't. And you might not be. Because there ain't no place in heaven for nobody like y'all. These sneaky, slow-down-ass preachers.